You are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. Look around. Who are the ones you spend the majority of your time with? Now look within. Does this strike a chord? Do you see any resemblance? Of course you do. You don't have to be a genius to understand this. It has nothing to do with positive, cheap talk either. It's simple logic. The people who are closest to you influence you even though you might not be aware of it consciously. Otherwise, they wouldn't be close to you. Gangs are alike. They are homogenous. If you were a different snowflake, you wouldn't be part of the tribe. Birds of a feather flock together. Be very careful of who you associate with. You don't want to be dragged down. It is not that 5 is a magic number. It's just an arbitrary number to resemble closeness. Now you might say, I don't spend too much time around people so this doesn't affect me. Or, I'm an introvert and I spend a lot of time by myself. This doesn't apply to me. Okay, you might be right. But this unwritten rule of 5 goes way beyond people. At the very core of it lies attention. You see, Attention and time are our most precious assets. You are the result of all of your attention through time. If your attention is scattered all day, all over Twitter, social media, phone apps and entertainment, why are you surprised that you're not getting an inch closer to your goals? Attention is focus. Focus is power. Whoever or whatever has your attention controls you. More often than not, it has your money as well. This is all tied to neuroplasticity, or the capacity of the human brain to rewire itself. Neurons that fire together, wire together. Whenever you learn something new, the more you learn and practice, the easier it gets. This is what happens when you learn to drive a car, or play an instrument, or practice a sport. If you study and practice recon for penetration testing, like me for example, the more you study and practice, the easier it becomes. You keep activating the same brain regions when you do something repeatedly. You are beating the path. You have a new habit. Now, getting back to where I started. The people closest to you have your attention. And by extension, the top few people you follow online most have your attention. The top few thoughts that ruminate inside your brain hijack your attention. The foods you consume most, the workouts you do repeatedly define your physical body. In one sentence, your habits define you. Your attention defines you. If the people closest to you are toxic, remove yourself from their presence. If your phone, laptop or your other devices hijack your attention all the time and you feel you're not getting any closer to your goals, reclaim control. Turn off all notifications and check your most essential apps at designated times of your choice. Be in control. Eliminate all distractions. Use attention, focus and time to build yourself and your skills from the ground up. Find people like who you want to become. If you cannot be in their physical presence, follow them online. Emulate their habits, the ones that you want to develop for yourself. Read their books, subscribe to their channels, rewire your plastic brain. By default, we are driven towards negativity. You have the power to change that by always challenging yourself to find the positives and the opportunities in any given situation. You are in control of the most powerful asset in the universe. Attention, focus and time represent the fuel for shaping your plastic brain. Reclaim your attention.